Intel versus AMD. It's going down for real. Hey guys, this is Sarvesh Bode and I'm bringing you the latest and greatest news from CES 2019. So let's get started. Holy shit. Team Blue versus Team Red. Team Blue is making its move to take on AMD Ryzen with its new line of 9th generation processors. Intel at CES has launched 6 new 9th generation CPUs ranging from Core i3 to Core i9. And this move seems like Intel's attempt to cash in on success of AMD Ryzen. Now ever since the launch of Ryzen processors from AMD, AMD had an upper hand in competition with Intel. With its enthusiast oriented chips, Ryzen quickly became popular in the market as they offered almost equal level of performance with better overclocking capabilities and they were more future proof than the Intel options. And of course, they were priced very competitively. By offering CPU without integrated graphics, Intel can attempt to reduce their price of their chipset and make them a little more competitive compared to the AMD options. Not only that, by ditching the integrated GPU, there can be many more benefits. The disabled unit of integrated GPU can be used as dark silicon, which basically means the unused silicon that can absorb the heat from the surrounding structure of chip and basically improve its thermal performance. This could also offer more headroom for longer boost duration and higher overclocking capabilities making it more enthusiast friendly. Now let's talk about the specs, here's the complete list of all the 6 processors that were launched by Intel in the CES event. Straight away, the one chipset that stands out in this list is the i3-9350KF. If this chipset is priced competitively, this can cause serious problem to Ryzen 3 with its base clock at 4GHz and turbo boost of 4.60GHz. The clock speed from all the new processor is just insane and I don't think AMD can beat Intel in single core performance. But again AMD is about to launch third generation of their Ryzen processors and if the rumors are true, they'll feature first in class 7 nanometer architecture and the most crazy thing, they'll have insane core count. I'm talking 6 cores for Ryzen 3 and it goes all the way to Ryzen 9 which will apparently have 16 cores. Can you just believe that? 16 cores in a home desktop. Holy shit, that's just crazy. And if AMD manages to pull this off, it will for sure blow Intel out of water. One more thing that the AMD Ryzen is popular for is its integrated GPUs. They are insanely capable. They can easily outclass Intel's UHD graphics. And if you are planning to build a PC on a certain budget, I think they definitely offer you a complete package. So though the F-Series from Intel is definitely a step in the right direction, but if they want to take fight to AMD, they'll definitely have to bring something more on the table. All that aside, the rise of Ryzen CPUs and the battle of supremacy of Intel and AMD is definitely good for us consumers as we can expect more value for our money. So that's it guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you like the content of the video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'm planning to bring more from CES 2019, so definitely consider subscribing. So that's it for today, thanks for your time, cheers.